Hey what's up YouTube this is Shukesh today I have for you a very interesting battery discharge speed test in between the all new OnePlus 6 and Galaxy S9 Plus as well as OnePlus 5T. The device in my hand is of course OnePlus 6 which packs a 3300 mAh lithium polymer battery. The next device is the Samsung flagship Galaxy S9 Plus which feature a 3500 mAh lithium ion battery that is it's the biggest battery phone here. The last device is the outgoing OnePlus model OnePlus 5T which has the same battery as OnePlus 6 that is 3300 mAh lithium polymer. Now all these devices are charged to 100%. I have just disconnected the chargers. The first thing I wanna test is the screen on time. That is, I will keep the screens on for about one and a half hours to get an idea about the screen on time. Then I will check the YouTube playback time, the camera recording and also play some games. The video will be at least 8 hours long so I will be putting lots of efforts. If you think this video is really helpful, do remember to hit the like button and also share it with your friends. Let me share with you the settings I have set. Wi-Fi, location and auto rotation are on. You get the same wallpaper on the phones with the same amount of brightness. There is no SIM card installed. I turned off sync and all the add-on features to make this test fair. And also the screen resolution of S9 Plus is set to FHD Plus that is same as the OnePlus devices and just to let you know this is the default resolution for the Samsung flagship. The stopwatch is running, I will come back after one and a half hours, stay tuned. Guys I am back, let's quickly check the battery status. Well OnePlus 6 is at 92% battery level that is after one and well the battery level just dropped to 91%. So 9% battery drop in one and a half hour. You can expect screen on time of about 16.66 hours. S9 Plus is now at 90% 10% battery drop in one and a half hour. Total screen on time would be 15 hours. No need to mention, you have the biggest battery on the Samsung device yet the battery drain is the highest. OnePlus 5T is also at 91%, 16.66 hours of total screen on time. Next let's play some YouTube videos. The time on the stopwatch is 1 hour and 31 minutes. I will play some videos for 1 hour and share with you the battery status. So don't go anywhere. It's 231 on the watch so let's quickly check the batteries. OnePlus 6 dropped to 81% so 10% battery drop in 1 hour of YouTube video playback. Well, it has dropped to 80% so 11% battery drop. At this rate you can expect 9 hours of continuous YouTube video playback on a full charge. S9 Plus's battery dropped to 79% so again 11% battery drop, 9 hours of continuous YouTube video playback. OnePlus 5T is at 79% battery life, so the battery drain is 12% at this rate. The total YouTube playback time on a full charge is 8.3 hours. Right now all these devices are neck to neck. Next I wanna record a 4K video on these devices at 30fps since OnePlus 5T can record 4K at 30fps only. So let's get started, the time on the stopwatch is 233 I will come back after 20 minutes guys there is a limitation for 4k recording which is 10 minutes so let's record another 10 minutes video before I show you the battery status let's quickly check the temperature oneplus 6 is at 46 degrees Celsius s9 plus is at 42 oneplus 5t is also at 46 degrees Celsius so the heat management of the Samsung flagship is just outstanding the battery level on OnePlus 6 is as you can see 71%, 20 minutes of 4K recording, 8 up 11% battery so you can expect about 3 hours of continuous 4K recording with a full charge. S9 Plus is also at 71% which is really great, just 8% battery drop thanks to the heat management. At this rate you can expect about 4.1 hours of 4K video recording. Well, it's just a screenshot of the history, so let's go back and the actual battery level is 70%, just 9% battery drop, much better than OnePlus 6. 
3 hours and 40 minutes of video recording is possible on this OnePlus 5T. Still, all these devices are very close, it's getting very interesting. Next, I will launch some games. Let's start with Subway Surfers. I will come back after 1 hour, the time on the stopwatch is 2 hours and 55 minutes. Well guys, I am back, 1 hour has passed, so let's check the battery. The battery on OnePlus 6 dropped to 58% from 71%, 13% battery loss in 1 hour of Subway Surfers gameplay, so you can expect 7 hours and 41 minutes of gaming on a full charge. Galaxy S9 Plus is at 60%, 11% battery drop, so the total gaming time would be 9 hours and 5 minutes. OnePlus 5T also lost 13% battery just like OnePlus 6, so 7 hours and 40 minutes of gameplay is possible. The next game I will be playing is Brothers in Arms 3. It's been 1.5 hours, let's check the temperature. There is no abnormal overheating, all these devices are about 40 degrees Celsius which is quite normal. Well, 26% of battery drain on OnePlus 6, so on a full charge you can play Brothers in Arms 3 for about 5 hours and 46 minutes, which is not bad, quite normal, it's a very graphics intensive game, but also it's not extraordinary. S9 Plus lost whopping 31%, the battery level is down to 29%, at this rate you can play this game for maximum of 4 hours and 50 minutes only. 5T is also at 29%, dropped from 57%, 28% battery loss, so the total gameplay time is 5 hours and 21 minutes. Let me show you the breakup before I move to the next game. So let's play another game, it's Dead Trigger 2 this time. I will come back after 1 hour. Stay tuned. It's 6.29 hours on the stopwatch, so let's check the batteries. OnePlus 6 lost just 9% battery in 1 hour, so 11 hours and 6 minutes of total gameplay on a full charge. Once again, the battery drain is quite high on this Samsung flagship. It lost about 11% battery, so maximum of 9 hours and 5 minutes of gameplay is possible on this S9+. Plus. OnePlus 5T lost the most 15%, so 6 hours and 40 minutes of total gameplay time. At this moment, OnePlus 6 is far ahead and looks like OnePlus 5T is gonna lose this battery drain test. I wanna see how much battery is left on OnePlus 6 as well as S9 Plus when OnePlus 5T dies. So there we have another game, Pokemon Go, a very battery demanding game. Let's see what happens. Guys, as you can see, OnePlus 5T is switching off and the time on the stopwatch is 7.5 hours, so with 14% battery charge, OnePlus 5T could handle the game for about 58 minutes. OnePlus 6 is now at 8% and Galaxy S9 Plus at 4%. Just 2 minutes left for 1 hour, so let's play this game for 2 more minutes. The battery level is still at 8% on OnePlus 6, so after 1 hour of Pokemon Go, the battery drain is about 15%, so 6 hours and 40 minutes of gameplay is possible on a full charge. S9 Plus dropped to 3%, so again 15% battery loss, 6 hours and 40 minutes is the total gameplay time. Here is the breakup, you can pause and check. Definitely OnePlus 6 is gonna win this test, so kudos to OnePlus for this amazing smartphone. Let's wait for a while for the Samsung device to switch off. Guys, after a good 11 minutes, S9 Plus turned off, so OnePlus 6 is the winner. Despite having a smaller battery, the battery life is better than the Samsung flagship, which is by far one of the best Android devices. There is still 5% battery left which is about 24 minutes of battery life on normal to heavy usage. The battery charging speed of OnePlus devices is also much faster than Samsung's adaptive fast charging. So on my next video I will compare the battery charging speed in between OnePlus 6, OnePlus 5T and of course Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. 
Thanks a lot guys for being with me so far. If you think my effort is worth the like, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of my next upload. This is Shukesh signing off. Thanks again for watching this video.